There's many nations. There's 52 countries in Africa. Which one do you descend from? That's a good. That's uh, Isaiah one and three. That's that. Hey Amen. That's beautiful to say that you don't know. So if you don't know, guess what? You can be taught, right? But you're fulfilling prophecy right now. Watch this. This this is the book of Isaiah, chapter one and verse three. Uh huh. The ox know its owner, and the ass his master's cradle, but Israel do not know. So. The Bible is talking about two dumb animals. Read that again. The ox know its owner, and the ass his master's grill. But Israel doeth not know. So the ox knows his owner, right? The ass knows his master's grill. The ass knows where, he, hey, you could take a, a donkey 15 miles away. Guess what, he's gonna find his way back home, right? Right. But Israel doeth not know. The so-called blacks and Hispanics don't know who they came from, who they derived from, what nationality, what uh, heritage. Right. They have no clue, right. right? So this is where we're here to teach you and anybody else that's listening, all right? This, watch, watch this, sis. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spoke unto all Israel on this side of Jordan. In the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea, between Param and Topel, and Laban, and Hazaroth, and Dizhab. So who is Moses talking to? Read it again. These be the words which Moses spoke unto all Israel. Who is Moses talking to? All Israel. We want to. We want you to say. I want you to say what what he just read. All right. All Israel, because of, later on it's going to become specific on who the children of Israel are. Go to Deuteronomy 28. Start at verse, uh, no, one. Deuteronomy uh, 28, verse one. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse one. Uh-huh. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So the Moses is talking to the children of Israel. He said if you keep God's commandments, right, so imagine a congregation of Israelites, right? Moses talking to all these Israelites saying if you keep God's commandments the Most High God will bless you, right? Read that again. And it shall come to pass if thy shall hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if you listen to God, all these blessings will come upon you, right? Do you think the children of Israel listen to God? No, right? Read 15. So if you, one through, uh, one through 14 is all the blessings that, that will come upon the children of Israel if they listen to God. But we know that the children of Israel did not listen to God. This is the, turn, this is the, the flip side. All right, read this. But it shall come to pass, if I will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses Pardon. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing, right? So he said, if you didn't listen to these uh, commandments, all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. Read this. Cursed shall thy be in the city, and cursed shall thy be in the field. Anywhere you go in the world, who is cursed in the city and in the, well, let me ask you, who is cursed in the city? Any place you go in the world, who's cursed in the city? Bring it out. Think about who, who's specific like these days? Because everybody is not called Israelites these days, right? Black people, right? Very good. There's hoods everywhere around here. Right. And who's in those hoods? Black people, Black people right? right? Read. Cursed shall thy be in the city, and cursed shall thy be in the field. So, give me a time where the Israelites was cursed in the field. So you trying to take me to church? No, this, hey, this is church. Right. This is church. Happened. But check this out. The Israelites was cursed in the field during this time right here. You see this? What time is this? Slavery. Slavery. What do they do? 
pick cotton, tobacco, rice, sugar cane, all these stuff. The Israelites were, uh, uh, they were, they were cursed in the field, right? Read. Cursed shall thy be thy baskets and thy stores. Uh huh. Jump down to uh, 40. These are all the curses, right? So we're just going to jump through a few of them. 48. Verse 48. Therefore shall thy serve thy enemies, which the Lord thy God sent against thee, in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. Hold on. So the Israelites, because they didn't hearken into God's commandments, because they didn't hearken into God's commandments, they're going to serve their enemies that the Most High sent against them, right? In what? In hunger. So who do the black and Hispanic people go to for their food right now? Who owns those stores? White people, right? Read the read the top. Therefore shall thy serve thine enemies. So the Bible called them what? Enemies. Enemies. Right. So keep reading. Which the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger and in thirst. So where do you go for water? Right? Water comes from the from the sky, right? But right, we still gotta go to the enemies for for our water, right? Read. And in nakedness, uh -huh. and in want of all things. Let's think about this. In nakedness, where do you get your clothes? Store. Right. Who owns those stores? Right. right. Even if you look at the tag on the back of our clothes, everybody clothes, does it have your people or the other nations? What did God call them? The enemy. Enemies, right? So these people are your enemies, read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. The same people you got to go to for clothes, food, water, and the want of all things shall do what? Until he have destroyed thee. The he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So those same people you got to go to for water, food, you know, uh, everything. They shall do put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Until when? Until he have destroyed thee. Right. Not necessarily kill you off to the uh, face of the planet, but now you don't know your nationality. Right? You don't know you don't know where you come from. That's being destroyed, right? So these are the things read sixty eight. Just to solidify who we talking about, right? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty eight and verse sixty eight. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So Egypt just means bondage, right? We can prove that. Go to Exodus 20. Read this. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Uh-huh. Read. Thou shalt have no other God before me. Oh, sir. Verse 68. 68. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Uh -huh, read. By the way thou whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. So once you get off those slave ships, you shall be sold again to who? Your enemies. Your enemies. So the Bible's consistent. It's talking about the same enemies. Read. For born men uh -huh. and born women. Slave men and slave women right and no man shall buy thee no man shall redeem you out of this captivity right malcolm x tried martin luther king tried we have no redeemer except the most high god christ right read was that it yes, read that again verse 68 and the lord shall bring thee into egypt again with ships uh -huh. by the way whereof i spake unto thee thou shalt see it no more again and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. So who did this happen to? In today's in today's history, who who went on slave ships? Black. black people, right? So if all these curses was on upon black people, but Moses said these would happen to who? No, who who would these curses happen to? The people that don't follow. Go to Deuteronomy one who is Moses speaking to in the Bible? You know? Israelites, right? Moses was speaking to the Israelites. So, if Moses was speaking to the Israelites, and all these curses happened to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American, who are they? 
Israelites, right? What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation 